This is super important to me. So um, I, I love that you brought this up. And it's funny because I've been on four or five podcasts in the last couple of weeks, and this has gotten brought up every time. And again, it's because it's top of mind because so many of us are on Zoom. So I love that, uh, you know, some positives can come from this pandemic stuff. And it is super important to me. So I've been really doing a lot of research. Um, I've never been the kind of guy that says, you know, just get on camera. You'll be fine. Just do it. I hate that. I, uh, I toured in a band, I was on stages everywhere, I spoke at conferences all over the U.S., and I still I put out hundreds of pieces of content, and I still had a journey from behind the camera to in front of it. Um, it wasn't as difficult for me as it is for a lot of people, because I've performed, but I'm an introvert at heart, and there was still a process, and there was about three months of putting out content every single day before the lens became an audience. It just kind of shifted for me. And I'm like, oh, that's not glass and electronics and metal. That's potentially one person who I might help. Wow. And now anytime I look at a lens, it's just an audience. It's not a camera anymore. And everyone's journey there is different and takes different amounts of time. Uh, but I'm really, really focused on this topic you brought up, which is the hesitancy to be on camera. And I'm trying to find I got a couple ideas, nothing's in place yet, but I'm trying to find ways to interact with people more and more and more on that level. Um, I wanna create online somewhere for free, some kind of community that can be like a sandbox where we can all bring our rough videos and ideas and get critique, but in a loving way, you know, so some kind of safe place for video development and getting your reps in. Uh, I've also started having conversations in a different way with people that I talk to. Um, what ended up happening was that someone who is a one minute media alumni, we we're having a general conversation and she mentioned how hard it was in the beginning to get in front of the camera. And in the beginning, she never told me that I was completely unaware. I was like, wow, I never knew you struggled at all. You dove right in, you got it done, you know? And she's like, oh yeah, it was, it was a process, you know, and with your help and guidance and some of my own bravery, you know, like I did it. And I was like, wow, I didn't know. I knew people dealt with this, but I didn't know it was like a majority, a vast majority of people. So in that conversation, what I realized accidentally, looking back at this older conversation, was that I had accidentally found out one of the ways I had helped her get on camera easier. And she is a high-end coach for executives and all this cool stuff, but she's also a professional photographer. She shoots currently as a hobby, but she used to do it for a living. And when I found that out early on, I was like, hey, you know what's really cool? is you already know about framing and exposure and all that stuff. So we don't even got to worry about that. We just got to get some equipment in your hands. And then I look back at another conversation with a copywriter who is a client. And I was like, oh, you know, one of the hardest things for video people getting started is writing a good outline or bullet point or script. You got that down already. So we don't got to worry about that. Another client of mine is an actress. She's in television and commercials and all that stuff out of New York. Uh, doing performance coaching for executives and stuff nowadays. And I was like, oh, you already know about performance. We ain't got to worry about that. Let's just get the right gear and get you lit, you know, and, and get going. Um, so I started f accidentally finding these superpowers that people already had and then helping them leverage those to get on camera just a little bit easier. So that's kind of my focus now is like, creating a safe space where people can test things and then also putting out more content around the idea of how do you get on camera and not me telling people how to get on camera, but sharing stories from a whole bunch of people and how they got on camera for the first time to see if maybe somewhere in those stories, someone can relate and feel a little bit better about their first time, you know, or getting over that, that hurdle. So I'm, I'm paying a lot of attention to that exact thing right now. 